Should you sell your music on Etsy? Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are a musician, a music teacher, or a music creative, then you have found the right place. In today's video, we're talking about how you can set up your Etsy shop for musicians. Now, this is a beginner step-by-step -step video on how you can begin your Etsy shop. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and the like button. And you'll want to make sure that you definitely click that notification bell because you won't want to miss a lesson. And don't forget to download your free checklist on the 12 top digital music products that you can start selling today on Etsy as a musician. Make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video because I am going to give you one suggestion that you may not have thought of as a musician when you're ready to open your Etsy shop and begin selling your music products on Etsy. So if you're ready, let's jump straight into the lesson. So the first thing you'll need if you are planning to sell music products on Etsy is some type of music notation software. I've used Finale in the past. I have used Sibelius. Um, and for the purpose for my music shop, I'm using NoteFlight. So here is a picture of my NoteFlight, and we're going to be looking at one sample of a music product that I sell in my Etsy shop. So this is a really simple song, You Are My Sunshine, and what I really like about NoteFlight especially if you're selling music products on Etsy, specifically sheet music, is that you can modify, just take your basic sheet music, so this is just the piano um, sheet music, and then you can create um, variety. So you can create a lead sheet, you can put it in color, you can make it in black and white. So this is just a quick insight, and I will be doing a future tutorial on NoteFlight and how to add this to your Etsy shop. At any time, if you feel confused or you have a question, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will be sure to get back to you. The second thing you need if you are planning on opening an Etsy shop for music is Canva. Canva has a free account that you can open and there's also the paid version. I will leave a link in the description box below for the paid, there's a 30 day free trial and this is super useful. So let me click on one of these and show you what I mean. So after I've created my piece in NoteFlight, which we just saw, it's so easy to upload into Canva. And what I really like about using Canva specifically for music is that you can go to file and what you can do is you can add the outline. So for example, it's really difficult when you're aligning your music up and you're not sure where to add your graphic fonts, but you can click on show print bleed and it will show you to make sure that your music doesn't come outside the print bleed. You can add show margins, and this is really helpful. So as you can see here, and let me zoom in here for a second so you can really get a good look. So when you are using um, Canva, you can add the images, which we'll talk about in a second, and then you can size your music. So you see here how the music doesn't fall um, outside the lines. And again, with Canva, you can add your title page, your actual score, and then the nice thing is you can then also add the different variations. Highly, highly recommend using Canva, especially if you are considering selling um, digital products in the sheet music variety on your Etsy shop. The next thing I can suggest for you, now this relates back as well to what we just saw in Canva, is using what I call um, it's it's a place, it's a digital marketplace for people like me who are not very good with the visual aspects. So, so here we are, sorry my computer's a bit slow, here we are on Creative Market and here are actually some of the products that I've either purchased or products that I'm looking to purchase. So there's a wide variety here. You can see they have music designs, uh, music uh, school kids, kids with music instruments, music patterns. I mean, there is just, there are so many uh, options. In fact, let's do a quick search and let's see what comes up when we type in music. As an example, I've simply typed in music notes and from music notes alone, there are 9,000, over 9,000 results, almost a thousand results. So from here, you can choose so many different things. There's, um, alphabet, there are letters, patterns, I mean the options are endless. Um, if you're looking to create sheet music for a specific season, 
Um, there are vintage music, digital sheet, music note bundles. I mean, it's just endless. So I strongly suggest that if you are considering creating music products to sell on Etsy in your Etsy shop, definitely check out Creative Market. And I do have a link for you that I will leave down in the description box. So obviously the next thing you'll need is your Etsy shop. So setting up your Etsy shop is very simple and I will be creating a tutorial on how you can do this. But for now, I just want to show you one part of my Etsy shop. So here we have the featured items, which I decided to feature for right now, the, um, the music, um, practice uh, piano sheet music. So this is where we are. And obviously you can make this your own. You have to develop your own voice and your own style for, you, for your music uh, shop. So this is my move over Mozart. And let's just take a look quickly and see what a item actually looks like in your Etsy shop. So I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but definitely this is um, something for you to consider. And so Remember, when you're placing your music items, make sure you place them into categories. So let's click on sheet music and I'll show you quickly. So here are a few of the sheet music that I have listed in my Etsy shop. So it's super easy. Let's click on You Are My Sunshine and you can see the product and then you'll see a little bit behind the scenes of what the product looks like. Um, so yeah, it's just a really, really simple and fun way that you can begin to sell your music products and services. So definitely start and open your Etsy shop. The next thing you'll need if you are creating an Etsy shop is a website. So I use Kajabi and I will leave a link for you um, down in the description box below. And as it just so happens, um, don't forget to download your 12 digital music products to consider selling on Etsy for musicians. Be sure to go to my website, moveovermozart.com and download this. It's completely free. Make sure that you have a website because Etsy gives you um, the option to link your social media and your website. And this is really helpful. It, you can also cross reference your products that you have on Etsy back to your website. So if someone finds you, let's say on a different social media platform, you can actually um, add in your Etsy link and direct your buyers back to your Etsy shop, or you can also just place them simply on your website. So again, there are many different um, platforms that you can choose from. I choose Kajabi because I am not super tech savvy and I like Kajabi for the fact that it's an all-in-one platform. It's a little bit more pricey, but the link that I will leave for you has, I think it's a 14 or 30 day free trial. So I really recommend Kajabi. So the other thing that you'll definitely want to consider when you have an Etsy shop is other social media platforms. So here we are in my Instagram and the great thing about Instagram, and this is what I do, this has helped me get viewers to my Etsy shop is to add in a link tree. So I have the free link tree um, and I will try and leave a link to the free version of link tree in the description box. But the great thing about Etsy is that what you can do when you add Linktree is um, you can add my Etsy shop. So when people are over on your Instagram or a different platform, you add a link to your Etsy shop. So when they click on that link, it actually takes them right back to your Etsy shop. So they're here, they click on that link here and it takes them back to your Etsy shop and that's really what you want. So a lot of people don't know that, but it's super helpful. Now, the final tip I have for you is Grammarly. So when you are writing your Etsy description, so let's take a look inside here. Um, so here, when you have your description, let's see, learn more about this item. It's really important that everything is as it should be that everything is very clear and that everything reads clearly. So if you don't have Grammarly, definitely consider it. I think there is a free version um, and I will again try and leave a link to that below in the description box, but not to scare you, but yes, you are musicians and yes, there is a visual component to Etsy because that's how you're 
buyers will see your music, see what you have available for them, but there's also the written component. So make sure that when you are writing your descriptions, and I'm actually going to be creating a video on how you can write your descriptions, it's super important that everything is written well, that your descriptions don't have any grammatical errors. So Grammarly is my final tip, and it might also be a bonus tip that you haven't thought of before. I hope you found this video inspirational and helpful. And again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because there are new lessons all about Etsy for you as a musician uploaded every week. Having said that, I'll see you in the next lesson.